The Bosch Rexroth Enderdrive can be configured to communicate with many different control systems. Today we'll cover setting up the drive to talk to an Allen Bradley PLC using Ethernet IP. For our drive setup we'll be using Bosch's Enderworks software for our drive commissioning. The first step in setting up the Ender drive to communicate by Ethernet IP is to set the drive IP address. This can be done with the drive powered up pressing the outside two buttons of the control panel for approximately 8 to 10 seconds to get into the menu system. From there use the arrow keys to navigate to menu 2.31 to set the IP address and 2.32 to set the subnet mask. Once the drive IP address is set, the power needs to be recycled for the drive to read the IP address on power up. The first step in our drive setup will be to create a new Enderworks project. After our project is created, we'll go ahead and scan for our devices. Since we set the IP address already, we use Ethernet to communicate with our drive. At this point, we'll pick a range of addresses to search through. Since we've already set our drive IP address to a dot two, we can search within the one to three range. Once we've completed scanning for a drive, it's automatically added to our project. Going to our properties, we can see that we're using an HCS drive with 12 amp capacity and a control section that's a CSH with our CCD communication which gives us our Ethernet ports. The first thing we'll do in our configuration is to do a base parameter load, which will reset the drive back to factory defaults. Once the base parameter load is complete, we can proceed to configuring the drive for our communication. We'll check our IP settings. Here we can see our IP address is set. Uh, it's important to note that our default gateway and network subnet mask need to match our PLC. We'll check the box and allow the Ethernet IP as our master communication and activate those settings. Once the box is checked to activate our Ethernet IP as our master communication, the drive power will need to be recycled for the drive to read that change. Clicking on the status button allows us to see that our IP address is correct and all of our uh, IP settings are valid. Once our TCP IP settings are verified, we'll go under our master communication settings and we'll make sure that our deactivate master communication box is not checked. From here we'll set up our profile type to be our freely configurable mode and we'll activate that profile. Once our profile type has been activated, our field bus status word is automatically added to line one of our configuration. Our field bus status word is a 16-bit word and since we'll be communicating using 32-bit words using our PLC, we'll set up an empty spot in line two. Our real-time input configuration is what is sent back to our PLC as diagnostic and status information from the drive. Here we'll configure our velocity feedback value and also a position feedback value so our PLC knows the velocity and the position of our drive.
Our real-time output is information that the PLC will be sending to the drive, such as our target position, our acceleration, our deceleration, and our positioning velocity. It should be noted that the field bus control word is also a 16-bit word and will require an empty slot behind it. The additional parameters configured are all 32-bit and therefore do not require an empty slot behind them. In this view, we can see that our PLC will be sending our control word, which will control our drive status, enable and disable, our target position, our positioning velocity, our positioning acceleration, and also our positioning deceleration. More information on the parameters we're configuring can be found in the help file under drive help. The help file is divided into S parameters and P parameters, which are standard parameters and product specific parameters. Information on the P4077 and P4078 parameters can be found in our help file. The P4077 parameter is our control word. The help file will break down bit by bit how that parameter controls the drive. From here we can see that turning on bit 15 and 14 will enable our drive. Turning on 13 will allow the drive to move by removing the drive halt. Our P4078 is our field bus status word. This status word allows us to bring back diagnostic and status information on the drive to the PLC. After setting our real-time input and output communication parameters, we'll set our drive operating mode. For this application, we're doing positioning. Since we're only using our primary mode of operation, our secondary operating modes will not need to be set. When going offline, our software will ask us if we want to back up our parameters. We'll pick yes, and a copy of our parameters will be copied into our Indoorworks project for offline use later. Once our parameter export is complete, our application is finished. More information on this application can be found in the PDF version at www.motiontech.com or call us at 651-730-9010 to request a copy.